Last week on the best ever food review show. Danny, a hotel manager in Siem Reap, guided me through her local market as we gathered the ingredients needed to cook brohok lim, or fried Cambodian cheese. It's a little bit rotten smelling. Yeah. Cambodian cheese is actually pungent smelling fish that's been fermenting for over one year. Oh. oh. Yeah, she's really digging in there. <laughs> With the odds stacked against her, Danny will try to prove to me that this dish actually tastes good. It seems like you're putting every effort possible to cover up the taste. But first, she's giving me a VIP tour of her village. So this is your village? Yeah, this is my village. You've lived here your whole life? Yeah. How many people would you say are in this village? In this village is probably 500 people. Does this have everything? Does it have like a uh, market here, a small market? The one that we already been. Okay, so yeah, that's the that market one. for this yeah. one. Is there like a uh, Blockbuster or a KFC, McDonald's, um, like a no, little one? No, not in here. No. <laughs> Only in town. But there's a school, right? Yeah, the school, just the school up here. School's right here. Can we go? Can we Want go look here? at it? Okay. Up here? Yeah, let's go. What subjects are they? There's like math and English and English. Only English. This is for like uh, only English. Uh, yeah, for the NGO that they support for the children. It was really touching to stumble upon some of the great work of NGOs and independent contributors right here in Danny's village. A lot of the Cambodian people, the most important thing for them yeah. is English. Okay. Yeah. If they can't speak English, they cannot find a good job for work. That's why they need to okay. study English. Can I play with you? I'm really bad, so it'll be fun. <laughs> Thank you. I should probably stretch first, but uh, we'll just go for it. <laughs> that was you. Pound over here. Pound it. Thank you. All right. Real quick. Pound it. The local children were indeed in awe of my natural athleticism. But alas, we broke away to meet one of Danny's neighbors. So you have a brick house, right? Yeah. Uh, your house is brick? Yeah. And this is... Uh, this is uh, from grass? the wood. The crust, no, this is from the least uh, coconut leaves. Leaves. Oh, yeah, yeah, coconut leaves. How long does it take to make a house like this? Made like this, only they spend only uh, three days. Three days? Yes, three days. Yeah, that's fast. Before my house is like that. Okay. Yeah, after that, I just take it out. I feel like, oh, I have enough money. Yeah. I did you pay. just, did you throw a match at it? Did you light <laughs> it on fire? Or? No, <laughs> I just give to the poor people. How do you give a house to somebody? Just give to them like, they asked me, oh, can I have the wood and everything here? Oh, said, okay. okay. So know. this is your neighbor? Yeah, my neighbor. Do people, do people shake hands here or bow or what should I do? They do like this. this okay. Susadai. <laughs> Susadai. <laughs> How, how's my accent? Uh, yeah, there's no way I'm going to remember that. <laughs> what does that mean? Nice to meet you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> my, it, it's like hurting my tongue. When I start to say one word, it's it's called like long. But yeah. when you say like, uh, you don't have to say one by one, you just said Oh, it seems easy enough. Yeah. Okay, well, let's go. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so also this is the, the fruit of that um, tree. tree. Mm. And when you taste it a bit, like uh, taste like tiger balm. It tastes like tiger balm. Yeah. But you use this for eating? It, yeah, I was eating sometimes. It looks like the tree had a tumor. <laughs> is, are you sure this tree didn't have cancer? Look at this. So this is for the people sick and the blood up a little bit, they always eat that too. Blood pressure is up? Yeah. Oh, my, my blood pressure is probably up. Oh, really? I eat a lot of eggs and bacon. <laughs> yeah. Should I try it? Is yeah. This, is this fresh? Just clean it. Yeah, fresh. Oh, is it clean now that you rubbed your hands on it? <laughs> <laughs> Once again. <laughs> ah, that's cool. Rainwater. Rainwater. Uh, bite. Just bite it like an apple? Yeah, yeah. It tastes like tiger Ooh. balm. That's <laughs> yeah, gotta be yeah, bad. Yeah, it's tiger. Okay, don't, just go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like tiger balm. Oh. <laughs> Do I have to swallow it? Yeah, just spit it out. <laughs> just spit it out. <laughs> wow, it tastes like 
It really, it tastes like old cheese. A little bit like Tiger Balm, or yeah. if you put a bunch of really stinky, like Swiss cheese or something more extreme than Swiss cheese, and you put it in water, and then you like shook it all up and let it sit there for three days. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it tastes like. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be rude, but this isn't, it's not supposed to be, it's not supposed to be delicious, right? It's like yeah. a medicine. Um, where should I put this? Just live in here. Okay, yeah, I don't want to waste Bye. it, but I definitely don't want to eat it. Okay, <laughs> thanks. Okay. <laughs> Everyone has these shrines, right? It, this is for good luck and protect the house and protect the lie. Okay. That's why they uh, believe. And this comes from Buddhism, right? Yeah. Okay. Buddhism. And uh, do you have one of these? I have one, but. But my mom inside here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I put her in here. So I tried to take her to the temple, and then uh, some of the ladies said, oh, don't take her to the temple, just live in the house. Leave that's in why, the house. Yeah, that's why. I bought like the big one and put her inside. I've put it off as long as possible, but it's getting late and we need to get this meal started. Right after I figure out why this picture is here. <laughs> What is this? You know, uh, <laughs> you, you're, this, this, you're into extreme sports, or <laughs> no? You know, like one guest, he he stay at night. <laughs> he, I never know him. Yeah. And he just print a lot of a, a photo like that yeah. and give to me in in the box and take it out. Feel like, oh my god. <laughs> oh. Up there as well. If I give you a picture of me, will you put it on your wall? In my room. <laughs> oh. Uh. Today I'll try two kinds of brohok. The first is raw with fermented fish, red ants, chili, and spices. What is this one? So this is brohok. We call brohok as well that we put chili. Yeah. And then uh, like some ant, the red ant that ant. you test at the market. Ah. Uh. Yeah, that one. That's right. So it's a little stinky and sour. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you put this? You put this on a bagel or something? <laughs> you used to be a chef. Yeah, I am. When is the last time you cooked this dish that we're gonna have today? You know, like one month, I cook only two times. Oh, okay, two times yeah. a month? Two times a month. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's, that's, so that's like how often I have tacos. <laughs> the main brahok we'll try is made with beautiful gray fermented fish and mixed with pork, garlic, sugar, chili pepper, lemon leaf, and Feroniella lucida, a Cambodian fruit that adds sourness to the dish. Finally, we throw in a couple eggs to bind it all together. Now that looks yummy, <laughs> right? Oh my gosh. Wow, you put the whole thing in there. Yeah. I used to work at an Applebee's, and this is pretty much the same kind of kitchen setup. Okay. Yeah, it's starting to look like ground beef almost. So next we'll put in some taco seasoning, and then we'll cut up some tomatoes, get some tortillas, and we're ready for our stinky fish tacos. Okay, here we go. Oh, guys, it's a very complex flavor, and honestly, it's a little too complex for a lot of you to even understand, but I'll, I'll try to explain it. See, it has some uh, nice sourness from the fruit we put in. There's some sweetness from the sugar. The fish is already super salty, so there's a nice savory quality to it. And then uh, overall, I would just call it yummy. And I'm pretty sure you don't just eat spoonfuls of this. I think we're gonna mix it with some vegetables too to kind of cut the taste a little bit, you know? It's like you got a 1.75 of whiskey that you paid $5 for, you need to cut it with some water. All right, we have to cut this too so it's not so intense. Finally, it's dinner time. Our spread includes morning glory, red ant brahok, brahok mixed with pork, white rice, and an array of fresh vegetables. First, you gotta break it in half, okay? We need some real estate to put that bean on. <laughs> when she does this, look at her face right now. I see. It freaks, she's freaking me out. <laughs> this is your food. How am I supposed to eat this when you no, can't no, even it eat it? It's spicy. It's just spicy? Yeah, oh just spicy. <laughs> Good thing we have no water here. Hello. Okay. <laughs> I put it too close again. <laughs> All right, here we go. Spicy. Not too spicy. Really? Yeah, did I, maybe I didn't put enough. Well, maybe I'm more Cambodian than you. Mm. Is it possible? We've got the raw version with the ants, and then we have the cooked version. So you put the 
put a whole thing into the cabbage, and you make a little roll. And then in your mouth. And then you put it in your mouth, and then what? Uh, and then... <laughs> <laughs> With some rice. Okay. Oh, so you mix it in your mouth. Mm. Okay. It looks just like ground beef, so I'm like, oh, I should put a lot of it on there. But maybe that is enough. Okay. Gonna roll her on up. Hmm. really good. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. You are quite the chef. So you put in all this powerful stuff to fight the fish flavor, the lime leaf and the garlic, and then it, it becomes like this whole powerful yeah. creature, and then you need to reduce its power with this other stuff. So you always put it on a vegetable, Yeah. and then put it in your mouth, and put some rice in, Yeah. and mix it in your mouth. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try it with, with the green pepper. You know, I was really intimidated. Yeah. First of all, Cambodian cheese, I was already like, okay, what's going on here? And then I saw the giant pile of rotting fish. It's been aged for a year, but after the way you prepared it, it's, uh, it's amazing. I would actually eat this normally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does take a lot of work though. Thank you so much for this awesome experience, like getting to see the local market and everybody there selling so many different things I've never seen before. Getting to see your village, yeah. the kids, the little school, um, and then just having us in your home, it really means a lot to me. And uh, I hope, you know, maybe one day I can pay you back in some way. <laughs> <laughs> Did that sound evil? <laughs> Again, thank you very much. It's been my pleasure. And uh, now I'm, we, we gotta let the camera guy eat. We usually starve him, but we're gonna let him eat this time. Well, hey guys, thanks for watching my video. If you would like to see my channel grow, uh, consider sharing this video on Reddit. I heard people like videos there. Also, um, leave a comment. Oh gosh, oh, oh God, they found me. He found me. Uh, okay, bye. <laughs>